Hey guys, this is a tutorial on a storage system using sticky pistons. And um, I actually showed this in my uh, very first Minecraft video, but I didn't actually do like a real tutorial on it, so this is why I'm making this video. Um, so yeah, this uses sticky pistons, and um, so let's just see how it works first. Uh, so here's a pressure plate. All you do is step on the pressure plate plate and um, the block in front of you goes down which allows you to access a chest which is full of anything you want and um, so yeah the pros and cons of this so the pros it looks very neat and organized um, compared to other storage systems I think this is this looks really nice and um, I like how it hi actually hides your chests and stuff. Um, also uses very little redstone. Um, it's really easy to hide. And if you build the way I told you, the way I am going to tell you to, it you won't have to worry about hiding the redstone. Um, another nice thing about this is uh, you can easily show what's in the chest by whatever what the whole storage system looks like. So here I have crafting benches to say that these are my tools and. It's a really hard to read sign, but it says tools on that sign right there. Um, here it's obviously cobblestone. So cobblestone is stored here. Here I have blocks of iron to show that I have iron stored here. And here I have uh, sugar canes, as you can see. So, um, yeah, so that's a really, that's why you sh this is a good system to use. And um, what else is nice is, as you can see here, for my iron, I have furnaces placed here. And the reason for that is obviously when you mine iron, you are left with iron ingots, or you're left with iron ore. So you have to make them into iron ingots. So what you can do is put the ore in these furnaces, take out the ingots that you previously put in, and easily store them in your chest. So that's why I like the system, because you can easily just store furnaces here and you can even change these with crafting benches and stuff which you know if you have a storage system for like stairs you know um, you can put crafting benches here so it's easy to make stairs because you need a crafting bench to make stairs and um, so that that's all the pros um, some of the cons are uh, it does take a little bit of space it is a three by five, so it's three wide, five long, and um, uh, if you have a back wall, that's three by five, but you may need three by six. As you can see, the chest is uncovered here, but uh, if you have like a back wall here, you know, then you don't have to worry about it as much. Um, another con is that uh, it's hard to store in more than a double chest. So what, what do I mean by that? I mean there's obviously only a double chest here, and something like cobblestone, you know, you're going to have more than a double chest in, uh, pretty soon. So, um, but uh, an alternative to that is you can easily uh, put in double chests in the sides here, um, like that. And uh, you can easily store cobblestone, and you can do the same on the other side, so you can actually have up to around three double chests so yep and uh, so yeah that's about the cons it's only it takes a bit of space and it's just hard to store more than one chest and so yeah alright um, so let's get actually onto the actual tutorial alright so um, I'm going to talk about some of the supplies that you need to make this system to so what you need to make one is whatever you're gonna make it out of first uh, you need around 25 blocks or so to actually make the surrounding uh, you need one sticky piston one redstone torch four redstone two chests one pressure plate and one piece of glass either a torch or a glowstone um, glowstone looks better but torches work as well um, and then you either need an iron pickaxe or a shovel depending on what you're digging so let's get started with the tutorial uh, first what you want to do is put down your pressure plate like that 
and then what you do is you dig three a two by three uh, hole right in front of the pressure plate and then actually dig one more just like that and uh, what you want to do is put a redstone torch onto the side of this block and then run a redstone line down from this block towards your pressure plate and then after that what we want to do is put this sticky piston right next to this redstone torch so you just jump that and since this redstone torch is on it also makes it so this sticky piston, piston is already shot up and now I'm just gonna add the uh, glowstone here and then the piece of glass right above it so yeah this is this is all the redstone that's required as you can see it's very simple so once if you when you press on this pressure plate it activates power into this redstone line, which deactivates this torch, which retracts the piston. Very simple. And so now, let's say we were making this for wooden planks. So I'm going to cover this up with wooden planks. Just like this. And then put another wooden plank on top and another one on top of that. And what you want to do is put the chest right there, and just like that. So now what we want to do is make sure that we can access the chest. And we need to remind ourselves that uh, we don't want anything above these chests or else we cannot access them. So we're going to try to hide this up just like that. And there we go. Now it's pretty hidden, and you can easily store your stuff like that. So right now, I'm going to make another one of these, but uh, for wheat. So let's say you have some wheat to store, and but you don't know how you're going to build it because you wanted to sort of, you know, have wheat on top. Uh, but in order for wheat to grow, you actually need to have water right uh, four blocks adjacent to it so first what we're gonna need to do is actually make another two by three like that and I forgot to put the pressure plate down and just do the same thing like this blah 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 and um, so there we go so now what we want is this top part to look like wheat so in order to do that we need to get tilled or an iron hoe yep you need a hoe to make this and um, what we're gonna do is till the soil here and actually before that I recommend putting the water down so we're gonna make a dirt block like this like that and I get my two water buckets and fill these with water like that and so now what we're going to do is cover this up uh, dirt and just like this as you can see the water is actually getting covered up so no one will see that there's water there and you can easily just put your seeds down like this and um, so yeah this is where you can store your wheat and um, just to fast forward this a little bit uh, I'm gonna use some bone meal and uh, just like this and see you can easily just put wheat on top to know that that wheat is in this storage chest and uh, actually you probably don't want 
wheat here or else because it might block it so this could just be a regular dirt block so yeah um, that's what I was talking about when I said you can easily like store anything because you can like represent it easily like this so yeah that's the end of my uh, tutorial and uh, if you enjoyed it um, please leave a like that would be great but um, if not um, please comment on any suggestions um, anything if you have any questions and uh, if you like these type of videos um, go ahead and subscribe and uh, if you don't subscribe um, it's okay too so I'll see you guys soon